Welcome to CSE Guru. In this session, we will solve knapsack problem using greedy method. So the problem is, find the optimal solution to the knapsack instances. M is equal to 15 and N is equal to 7. So this M represents the maximum capacity of the knapsack. And here, the profits and corresponding weights are given. So there are 7 objects. Already in the previous session, we have discussed an example to implement knapsack problem using greedy methods. There are two methods to solve this problem using greedy method. So in this session, we will solve the knapsack problem using method 1. So the capacity of knapsack is given value is 15. And the number of objects here is 7 objects. And corresponding profit and weights are, so W1 is 2. W2 is 3, W3 is 5, W4 is 7, W5 is 1, W6 is 4 and W7 is 1. So these are all the given weights for 7 objects. And the profits are P1 is 10, P2 is 5, P3 is 15, P4 is 7, and P5 is 6, P6 is 18, P7 is 3. So these are all the given weights and profits. So first step is we need to find the profit and weight ratio that is PI by WI. So there are 7 objects and the profit and weights of the corresponding objects are so 10, 5, 15, 7, 6, 18 and 3. Weights are 2, 3, 5, 7, 1, 4, 1. So now we will find the profit and weight ratio. So 10 divided by 2 is 5 we will get it. And 5 by 3, 1.66. 15 by 5, 3. 7 by 7, 1. 6 by 1, we will get 6. 18 by 4 is 4.5. 3 by 1 is 3. So now we have find the profit and weight ratio and in this profit and weight ratio gives the knowledge which object will helps to get the maximum profit. So if you are considering here object number 5 gives the maximum profit and this will be considered as the first object in step 2 and the next object is object number 1 with next maximum profit and then object number 6 with next maximum profit. So likewise, in step 2, we are going to arrange the objects in decreasing order of PI by WI ratio. So here totally there are 7 objects and we are going to arrange the object and weights according to the maximum PI by WI ratio. So first is object number 5 gives the maximum PI by WI ratio. So its corresponding profit is 6 and weight is 1. So this will be considered as first object to place it into the knapsack. And the next object is object number 1. Its corresponding profit is 10 and weight is 2. So this object we will give the next preference to add it into the knapsack. And the next if we are considering object number 6 gives the maximum PA by WI ratio. So its corresponding profit is 18, weight is 4. And next, if you are considering both object number 3 as well as object number 7. So, first we will consider in order object number 3. So, its profit is 15 and weight is 5. And next object number 7, its profit is 3 and weight is 1. And next, if you are considering object number 2, its corresponding profit and weight is 5 and 3. And last preference, we can give it to object number 4. Its profit and weight is 77. 7. So now if you are considering, we have arranged the objects in decreasing order of PA by WI ratio. Next, step 3, compute the profit. So now we will write the object, its profit and weight according to step 2. And here, the maximum capacity is nothing but 15. So this X column represents, if you are considering the complete object to place it into the knapsack, this X will be considered as 1. And if you are considering any fractional part means, X value will be calculated accordingly. 
so that is the x value and here this represents the remaining capacity of the knapsack so whenever you are adding an object into the knapsack and that weight will be reduced with the maximum capacity and this procedure will continue until we will reach the capacity of the knapsack to zero and the next column we will calculate the profit that is pi into xi the corresponding profit value into x what is the proportion of the weight we are considering to add it into the knapsack that is nothing but x check whether the first object weight is less than the capacity of knapsack if it is less than the capacity of knapsack the condition is true means x value we can consider it as 1 so what is the meaning in the sense the corresponding weight is less than the capacity of the knapsack then the complete object we can able to place it into the knapsack that is the meaning so we are considering x value is equal to 1 then here the remaining capacity m is equal to the capacity of knapsack is 15 minus what is the wi weight it's 1 into x value is 1 so we will get it as 14 m value was 14 so the profit if you are considering it is pi into xi so the corresponding profit is 6 and x value was 1 so, so we will get profit 6 in the next step check whether the remaining capacity of knapsack that is 14 is less than the capacity of the second object yes condition is true so consider x value is equal to 1 now the remaining capacity of knapsack is nothing but m is equal to the remaining capacity is 14 minus the current object capacity is 2. So 14 minus 2 into x value is 1. So we will get it as 12 is the remaining capacity. And the profit is 10 into x value is 1. So we will get it as 10. Next, consider the third object. Check whether its weight 4 is less than the remaining capacity of knapsack is 12. Yes, it is true. So, consider x value is 1. That is, we are going to place the complete object into the knapsack. So, m is equal to the remaining capacity is 12 minus weight of the current object is 4 into x value is 1. So 12 minus 4 we will get it as 8. Profit is 18 into x value is 1. So 18 into 1 we will get it as 18. So the complete object we are placing into the knapsack and the profit we will get completely. Next consider the fourth object and its corresponding weight is 5. Check whether this current object weight is less than the remaining capacity of the knapsack. Yes, it's true. So, consider the complete object to place it into the knapsack. That's why we are giving x value as 1. Now, the remaining capacity is, previous remaining capacity is 8 minus current object weight is 5 into x value is 1. So, the remaining capacity we will get it as 3. And profit is 15 into 1. So we will get it as 15. Consider the fifth object. Check its corresponding weight is 1. Less than previous iteration remaining capacity is 3. Yes, true. Now consider the complete object to place it into the knapsack and assign x value as 1. Now the remaining capacity is previous iteration remaining capacity is 3 minus Current object weight is 1 into x value is 1. So, we will get it as 2. And the profit, since we are placing the complete object into the knapsack, we will get the profit completely. So, 3 into x value is 1, we will get 3. Next, to consider the sixth object. And its weight, if you are considering it as 3, check whether the current object weight is 3 is less than the remaining capacity of the knapsack 2. Condition fails. So what we need to do? We need to consider the partial object only. 
So, Ax value is nothing but, what is the remaining capacity of knapsack? That is 2. Divided by, what is the corresponding weight of the object? It is 3. So, 2 by 3. So, we will get it as 0.67. So, this is the fraction. We are going to place it into the knapsack. We are not going to place the complete object into the knapsack. Since if you are adding this object, it will exceed the maximum capacity of the knapsack. So, we are going to place only a fraction of this object according to the remaining capacity of the knapsack. So, now calculate the remaining capacity M is equal to, the remaining capacity is 2 minus the weight of the object is 3 and we are going to place only a fraction that is 0 0.67. So, the remaining capacity we will get it as 0 and the profit we will calculate as Pi into X. So, Pi profit value is 5 into X value is 0.67. So, the value we will get it as 3.35. And now, we cannot able to consider object 7 since already the capacity of the knapsack is 0. We cannot able to add the object number 7. So, now we will get the total profit is add all these profit values. So, we will get the profit is 55.35. So, this is the profit we will get for this problem. Now, if you are considering the result, total profit is 55.35 and the objects are 7 objects and its corresponding profit and weight is and the corresponding x value. So, this x value represents what is the portion of the object we are adding into the knapsack. So, the first object we have added completely, second object, third object, fourth object and up to fifth object we have added completely into the knapsack. And the sixth object if we are considering we cannot able to add it completely. So, we are going to add a fraction of the object according to the remaining capacity of the knapsack. So, here we have added only 0.67 and the seventh object it is 0. We cannot able to add it into the knapsack since already the capacity of the knapsack is 0. So, this is the result of this problem. So, here we have earned the total profit 55.35. So, in this session we have solved the knapsack problem using greedy method 1. In the next session we are going to solve the same problem using method 2. Thank you for watching this video.